piece. <laughs> hey, Cancers, don't mind me. I'm, I'm having a hair day. I'm, I'm, having, I'm having a hair day right now. Um, hi, Cancers. Welcome to Balmy Spirit. I am Island Turtle. This is the monthly general reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. There is a part two over on Patreon and Vimeo. Links are below for your convenience. Uh, these are intuitive channelings. The cards are really just fun confirmation for you guys. Um, but I am an intuitive, I'm a channel, I'm a seer, I'm a whole lot of things. Astrologer, I mean, the kind of the titles are endless. <laughs> uh, the list is endless. But yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment as well. All right. Cancer, it's interesting the readings that have been going on today. They've been very, they've just been like very, like feeling very good and just very honestly, very potent. And then I get to you. And I was like, I think I'm supposed to take a break, but I was so ready to do your reading. And it was like, okay, I'll like take a break and I'll play and something. Cause sometimes you need to like, you know, take a little energy break, right? Um, and then I got back to you and it was like, oh no, that's your vibe. Cancer, that's your vibe. Some of you guys are thinking of taking a vacay. Some of you guys just wanted to play a lot. And I almost wanted to ask you, is it time to play Cancer? Is it time to play for my Cancers? It's kind of feeling that way. Um, you could be feeling very childlike, like very childlike, very creative. Um, I was getting that, it's interesting, I was getting this feeling too of, my God, this hair, I'm sorry, just having a human moment here. Um, I was getting this vibe with you too of like uh, painting and colors and uh, makeup and, you know, like, like literally playing in color, like playing with the rainbow is kind of how it was coming through, just wanting to be around color but wanting to utilize it, like, again, like maybe paint, like for women or like painting your nails or, you know, men, women doing makeup or painting pictures or drawing, like literally wanting to play in colors with color with the rainbow. Uh, I don't know, I just heard taste the rainbow. <laughs> so funny, Skittles. Anyway, excuse me. Yeah, Cancer, it's like, if you could splash in color and rainbows, you would. Like, that's your vibe right now. And I'm loving it. You could be spending a lot of time with kids too. It's, it's just got this like childlike playful vibe. Um, whether they're your kids or family or you work with children, it's just, it's a, it's a cool vibe. I like it. I'm, I'm loving this on you. Um, let's go ahead and pull some cards. What deck wants to work with you here? It's been very interesting. The decks that want to work with certain people to, or certain, certain people, certain signs today. And I'm like looking around, I'm like, I don't feel like I have a deck that really is like like embodying the energy you're in right now so we're gonna do our best is <laughs> um or we're just into the animals i guess we're just gonna start with the animals no we're gonna do spell casting all right we're doing that we're gonna start with the spell casting oracle I'm sorry, this one curl is just making me crazy. It's making me feel like I'll Okay, there, well, there we go, it's fine, it's fine. All right, sorry, coming back, coming back. Um, aesthetics could be a thing for you right now too, like adorning the vessel, because I keep getting this like play and color and artsy, and but having fun with it, right? Having fun with it. Any messages or insights for my Cancers? Summonizing Venus and Jupiter. Any messages or insights from my Cancers? Summonizing Venus and Jupiter. One more. Okay. You could be getting a lot of rainbow synchronicities. I just keep getting rainbow, 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 rainbow with you. Ooh, suddenly my neck is like oh, not happy in your reading for some reason. Whoa. Hold on. All right. Let's see what we got over here. Nice. We've got travel family and good luck again that family is really bringing the child vibes here the good luck card is kind of like the wheel of fortune jupiter in this deck it just speaks to fortuitous energy abundant energy fertile energy things feeling just really really good and really positive the travel card i, I keep getting exploring with that sorry always got to make sure right i got a lot going on today i'm traveling tomorrow uh speaking of travel right um but yeah i feel exploring with the travel card with you sometimes that card can indicate 
actual travel, moving or astral stuff going on. But no, I, I feel explore, 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 explore your inner child, explore fun, explore play, explore creativity. I think you're going to be surprised what you can come up with. I just want a lot of creative juices with you. Um, yeah, you're going to be very surprised, actually, if you literally, if you indulge in the energy of what could be born of that. Whether it's like, oh shit, you know what? I never thought about doing this, but you know what? I can totally pull that off. Like it's a very inspired, creative sort of a vibe here. And you could be doing this with other people with the family card as well. Could be drawing yourself closer to soul fam. But yeah, Cancer, this is a reading for Cancers who are ready to dive into the rainbow, explore their own creativity, their own play, their own magic. And it just feels really damn good, honestly. It just feels really damn good. So let's go ahead and pull some other cards. I'm gonna use the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. These glasses are a little dirty, you know, it's distracting me. Um, anyway. Any messages or insights for Cancer? Oh, come on, don't be stubborn on me. Any messages or insights for Cancer pertaining to the spread? Any messages or insights for cancer pertaining to this spread? Oh, my neck was totally fine until I got into your reading. There might be something going on with your throat chakra. Last one. <laughs> it's the glasses that are really bugging me, but it's like, I don't know why I think doing that is just gonna make my glasses good clean. <laughs> anyway, cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Mmm. Interesting. We have Elk, Divine Masculine Principle in this deck. Usually is like a King of Pentacles, Emperor-like energy to me, or a Taurian energy. It's like, it's the person that shows up and takes care of everybody. Very family-oriented card, or somebody who manages like a household, a business, a group of people, that sort of de deal, like a leader, but somebody that everybody can depend on and count on. But it's interesting that's coming through on the exploring energy, of the exploring the self here. Because there's such a call to the inner child with you, but the elk is very much the parent, right? I feel like you're able to allow your inner child to explore more or like have more free reign because you're so solid in this elk energy for yourself is what it feels like to me. Some of you guys are gravitating towards somebody who can, I want to say almost like hold the container for you. Like interesting how this is coming out. So take the messages as they resonate because I'm getting different groups of cancers now. Yeah, for some of you, it's actually gravitating towards individuals or an individual who is so solid that you actually can have some permission and allowance to play and explore and create and let your inner child kind of roam free. And like I said, for others of you, you're able to do that for yourself because you're so solid. Um, like for example, like let's say you've been wanting to like take a vacation, right? Or take like a break from work or a sabbatical to just play and create and like explore. And maybe you like saved up money right this would be the part of you that saved up money so you can do this like that's an example of how you're doing that for yourself but yeah some of you you're actually um being drawn to somebody who's going to help facilitate your ability to explore that is the energy you are in 100 percent play the dolphin is super playful, sensual, sexual, very creative, usually a healer or a mystic and kind of childlike. Everybody loves the dolphin. This is just like pure light. And they basically play in the light. They play in the rainbow. Um, anyway, let's keep going. Any other messages or insights for my cancers? Whoa. <sighs> Moth, attraction, magnetism, dolphin is still on the bottom and this is coming in with family. Again, layers of energies here, and again, they're manifesting differently. Some of you are literally being drawn to somebody who can give you or help you. I want to say help and assist you with being able to hold a container for you or like support you in you exploring your creativity and having fun and playing and colors and life and freedom and da, right? Um, like an investor or a benefactor or somebody where it's like, 
you know, hey, I've got a lot of resources. Like if you need a break, like I can support you for a while or I can invest in your dream or, you know, et cetera, et cetera, like that. And for others of you, it's like you've become so solid in your elk energy and your responsibility that you're able to do this for yourself and plan ahead. And so you can have freedom to have fun and play and explore. But the moth energy, the moth does say that there is something flocking to you or you're flocking to something and with family to me that screams soul fam to me that screams soul fam there's a lot of expression happening here too with you cancer as you are embracing playing i keep wanting to say playing in the rainbow i might write no i'm not gonna write that down i'll, I'll remember it um to where it's like it's also attracting people who want to play 1044 dip of the camera it's also attracting people who want to play in the rainbow with you or again who want to assist you in playing in the rainbow you understand what I'm saying? So, Cancer, this is this is juicy. I'm liking this. This is really really juicy. Uh, whether you're gonna, people are gonna show up to facilitate this for you or invest in you in some way, or you're investing in yourself and it's allowing you that fun, that freedom, that play, the exploration in the rainbow. And then in doing so as well, it's like you're really nurturing your inner child. But for some, of you also attracting soul fam as well. Very nice. Let's see what else wants to come out for my Cancers. I love this good love card because you know what? Clyde gives me that look a lot. <laughs> For those of you guys who are new, I have a cat. His name's Clyde. Yeah, he looks at me like that all the time. And it's funny because someone actually said today um, if they, you know, because I travel a lot, right? Sometimes I take him, sometimes I don't. That, you know, if, if I ever need them to watch him, like I'll come back and he'll be sitting there with a crown on his head. And that's totally the look he would give me. But anyway, just speaking tangently, but let's continue. Anything else for my cancers pertaining to this spread? I love my work, man. I love my work because you know what just came out? Oh, yeah. There you are. Playing in the rainbow. Oh, not what I expected. Crocodile. Crocodile to me is like a cooling off energy, like coming down off of a high. Oh, oh rest. They said respite. So this is, this is just really indicating like allowing yourself to shift into dolphin, allowing yourself to play and have fun and chill out for a little bit. Um, even if you had to do a lot of work to set yourself up to do that, right? I don't need to speak on this. This is you playing in the rainbow and it's working out for you. <laughs> okay. Basically it's working out for you and it feels pretty damn good. So kudos to you. Cancer. Yum. Um, on the bottom, Oh, we have Gazelle, Three of Wands energy, a very pensive waiting energy, and then Eagle. I want to say you're not waiting anymore. Eagle comes out when it's like the world card, when we're about to end or move into like very big cycles of life lessons or karmic cycles, what have you. But the Gazelle is like a Three of Wands, like anticipation. I don't feel like you're waiting. I don't think you're waiting for anything. And maybe you were. I cut this curl too short. I cut my own hair, by the way. I don't know why I feel the need to tell you guys that. Um, and I cut that one way too short. And it's just like wanting to like, anyway, sorry. Um, if you were waiting, you're not anymore. I keep getting you're not waiting anymore. So maybe that's just what it needs to speak on. That you're like, screw it. I'm going to go and play in the rainbow right now. I'm going to go do what I got to do to facilitate myself playing in the rainbow, or I'm going to go play in the rainbow, and then you're going to find people who want to keep investing in you playing in the rainbow. I keep getting to that something really cool is going to be born of this, whether it's just soul fam or actually birthing something very creative that's of your own making. Exciting stuff, Cancer. Where are we at? 14 minutes? Um, okay, I'm going to pull some tarot cards, and then we're going to go ahead and get into part two, Okay. I'm going to use, yeah, let's do the unicorns. Unicorns? Yeah. Unicorns. Okay. Any messages or insights from my cancers pertaining to the spread? Any messages or insights from my cancers pertaining to the spread? You might have been anticipating specific things that is something that I am getting, like actually birthing something or meeting certain people. And you're, I think it's like a switch went off for you. And you're like, nope, I'm just living life now. 
I'm gonna go play now. Whatever happens, happens. It's cool. It's very cool. Anything else for my cancers? Some of you guys could be on the other end of this, like I said, because this elk energy is very much like, I'm gonna hold the space so cancer can do this. I'm gonna invest in cancer so cancer can do this, even if it's you investing in yourself, right? Um, but for some of you, you might actually be very be very inspired by what someone's doing and want to invest in them or assist them in doing whatever it is that they're doing. So keep that in mind as well. They, yes, thank you, thank you. They said like a moth to a flame. So where this is about pulling in certain people or people helping you, it's the elk meeting the dolphin. It's the elk, I think, it's the elk meeting the dolphin. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> Sorry, the way these, the cards talk to me, right? So for those of you where an elk is coming in or a dolphin is coming in, you're the elk, again, take it as it resonates, the, this, it's almost like the dolphin is surprised more so than the elk. I keep getting that with the card in this look. I think that's why I was drawn to the look of the of this cat. Like, hmm? oh, hello, <laughs> like, oh, okay. We're doing this now. Like, it's kind of a... anything else for cancer. <laughs> King of swords coming in on the elk, discernment and knowing exactly what to do and how to do it and how to set cancer up for success. Even if you're setting yourself up for success and exploring and playing in the rainbow, okay? God, so much support. I like, I feel it. It feels so good. It feels like support. It feels like love. And it's just like, I just can feel that dolphin energy getting more elated and elated and elated and elated. Like, oh, okay. Like getting more inspired and lit up. Anything else for my cancers? 17 minutes at that. Trying to keep track of time just because I got a lot going on today. Anything else for cancer? Don't get quiet on me now. Don't get quiet on me now. There we go. King of Cups coming in with Dolphin. It's interesting too, because this elk and dolphin energy, it's like, uh, it's a lot of like within to without is what I want to say, working from within to without energy. So like I said, for the elk, even if it's you doing it for yourself or someone showing up and helping you, the elk is like, how can I facilitate the dolphin playing in the rainbow? Even if that's you for yourself, how can I give? How can I provide, right? to someone or to myself or someone to you. And then to the dolphin who honestly is the one where I feel like is playing in the rainbow and benefiting and expressing, the dolphin is also giving as a king of cups. Like, like how can I play in the rainbow and express and express in a way where it's like to give out, right? To share this with other people is kind of how it's coming through. Like, yes, expressing the self or expressing creatively, but to share with the intention of sharing and giving. it's And I think that's why there's so much energy and like love and support going on because it's like everyone involved in this so far are giving. Un and it feels unconditional in a way, actually. It does, it feels unconditional. Anything else for my cancers? emperor coming in on the elk side with the king of swords you don't even need me to explain why the emperor is there emperor is divine masculine principle on top of the elk divine masculine principle it is how can i practice practically help the dolphin play in the rainbow how can i practically like support the dolphin to continue whatever it is that they need to do so the dolphin can just be bursting with light and love and creativity basically very nice Anything else for my cancers pertaining to the spread? A lot of beautiful expressions of masculine energy, which makes me really happy. There's so much going on with the masculine collective right now. Overall, hmm, fascinating. We have six of swords in reverse. 
Oh, are we running into a snag? Full in reverse. Oh boy. Okay, okay, there, there's a little bit of funky stuff getting worked out here. And then we have Temperance in reverse with the World in reverse, and then Seven of Swords in reverse, seeing some clarity and truth about some things here. So there's a reason that this dolphin needs to play in the rain, though. And again, it's it's coinciding with some sort of break or some sort of rest or some sort of like, you know what I mean? A shift in, I need to do this now. I need to nurture the rainbow. I need to nurture the dolphin. Like, nurturing all that play and light and brightness. But this overall energy feels not like a wall, a challenge. Feels like a challenge. This feels like holding back from doing that. Like something's been preventing the dolphin from being able to play in the rainbow or expressing the rainbow, taste the rainbow. You know what I mean? You understand what I'm saying, right? In whatever ways the dolphin wants to play and express and do their thing. Dolphin doing their thing, essentially. We'll just call it that. There's been some sort of challenge or resistance. There's been some sort of challenge or resistance. And for some of you, it's been about how do I get in this energy for myself? this like healthy expression of masculine energy to be able to hold myself in a way where I can be free to do those things, whether it's planning or prepping or saving money, right? Again, the practical ways. Um, and for some, the dolphins literally needed help, like an investor or a mentor or a facilitator or a friend or a partner, right? Family to do that. What's interesting is underneath the challenge of this, Seven of Swords in reverse, Queen of Pentacles, yeah, and the Nine of Wands in reverse. There's There's been a need to let go, and I feel like this is for the dolphin, right? And again, you could be all these energies, but no matter what is happening as a result of the dolphin playing in the rainbow, it's, it's having people flock to the dolphin as well to give as a King of Cups, so just saying. But this is what has been part of the challenge that has been preventing the dolphin from playing in the rainbow. That Queen of Pentacles energy with that Nine of Wands in reverse, I keep getting let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Um, letting go of responsibilities a little bit. Giving one, yeah, thank you. Giving oneself a break. Giving oneself a break. Yeah, giving oneself a break. And I'm also underneath that we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is being able to stand on one's own, self-esteem, feeling a lot of citrine vibes here, actually. Um, independence. But I feel like it's more like allowing the self to be the self, allowing the self to be free in one's own desire. That's what's been needed for the dolphin, prioritizing self-care a little bit, but mostly just prioritizing the self and what the self needs and how the self wants to be expressed. And the self for the dolphin wants to play in the rainbow. Okay. I forgot. I got, I'm doing a part two on this, aren't I? <laughs> totally forgot. Um, so that's what I'm getting for you, Cancers. We're going to get deeper into this. I can feel there's a lot of layers going on here. Um, so if this is where you depart, oh, goodness. <laughs> if this is where you leave us, I hope it was insightful. I hope it was helpful. And if you're joining us on part two, I'll see you very soon. Okay, take care, Cancers.